Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm back down South Cumbria today. I've got that exhaust put back on that digger. And then hopefully I'll go and get a DL420 CVT service this afternoon. Up in a quarry, can't see the hill, but there's a hill over there somewhere, it's up behind there, so get those jobs done. If you're new to the channel and uh, you don't know what this is all about, it's a day in the life of a service engineer. Work for Gordon's Construction, we're a Doosan dealer. Um, so the majority of the machines on this channel will be orange. Um, and if you haven't already, and you've been watching the channel a while, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And at the end of the video, if you've enjoyed it, let me know by uh, clicking the like button too. Right, we'll get on with this job. So a quick recap as to why we're here. This piece here has snapped off the exhaust manifold. So we've got a new piece here to replace it with. Issue is, access is not good. Um, there was a comment saying that these cabs aren't too bad to take off. But if I'm struggling to get it back together, we'll delve into that. But I'd like to keep the cab on and just try and persevere um, but yeah I can certainly see some jobs on that engine taking the cab off will be the best and probably only option so we'll see how we go uh, we've got that in case right I'll build this up because I've got a new heat shield and stuff to put on it and then uh, I'll have a go putting it on if you actually look at the new one, it's got a lot more weld around the inside of here than there is or was in here, and that's probably why it's broken. I mean, that is even my standards of welding. I'm sure I could get a better run inside there compared to there. So I don't think this one will break. I hope it doesn't. <laughs> Just a defective part. There we go. Right, I'll get this stuff built up. That's a new shield to go around it. Hey, it's going well. Looking there, that bit there is the new bit that's on. I've managed to get, if you look there, focus camera, that bolt head there where it says 44.5 mil, pointed that towards the top, and I can get a big long extension out to here tighten that up uh, I've got my exhaust mounting plate in everything's attached now I just need to tighten that bolt there to nip that up tighten that one down there job will be right won't it hey man actually went together easier than it came apart that wasn't too bad Fully expected a struggle, as is usually the case. But that was okay. Not taking long at all. I'm gonna be early to my service, they're not expecting us till lunchtime. Never mind. Right, I'll uh, I'll get this all put back together and we'll start it up before I put all covers on and just make sure I've got no exhaust leaks. Yeah. I'll put back together then, we're going to try it, see if it still sounds like a racing car. That was the report. <laughs> turn the ignition on, and then let everything work. Oh, radio, turn the radio down, don't want to get told off by YouTubes. See, there we go, jobs are good in. Magic. Right. We'll, uh, we'll get that put back on. Job would be a good one then, won't it? Good start to the week. One job ticked off. Right, I ran it up there for five minutes, just in that stone, messing about. Everything seems good. There's no exhaust blowy noises or out like that, so. That one can go back to work and uh, I'll point the van behind that hedge somewhere. I've got a quarry. It's about 15 20 minutes away, so we'll go up there now. Well, it looks like they're filling potholes in on this road. 
What I might do is uh, 23 minutes past 12. Might just have lunch. Enjoy the scenery. What a place. That is the Lake District up there. I think that's Coniston. Right there. That's the Lake Coniston. That's cool. I was, as I was filming there, you maybe hear a car pulling up. And uh, there's a fella in a pickup pulled up. All right, Ali, I'm like, all right. <laughs> he says, you don't know me, but I watch your videos. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? It is. So, hey, it was nice to chat to you. I didn't get your name. I do apologise, but uh, spot on. Right, I'm going to sit and have my lunch. And um, I'll... Uh, I'm starting up again. Air conditioning's kicked in. I'll have my lunch and I'll uh, trundle around the corner. It's just the other side of that, that little hill there, not the big one in the background, but that one there where I'm heading to. So we're not far away. 11 minutes as it goes. Whew. Nice day. Lucky to work in this area, like. It's good. Right. All right, we've got a 500 hour service doing this 420 CVT. It's nice up here when it's nice. It is, nice breeze. Not too hot, lovely. I'll have a look, just spotted that big Volvo. That is a beast. Goodness me, 750. Does that mean it's 75 ton? Big machines. Right, I'll focus on this big machine. Uh, I'll get it. I think it's been running. I'll just have a check. If not, I'll run it while I open the mud guards because that's a 20 minute ordeal sometimes. Um, then we'll get some oil chucked out of it. I'll get my uh, oil pump set up and get to use that again today. So this 420 CVT, I always forget, it's got the smaller Scania engine in. Um, this is the five cylinder DC9, um, whereas the standard 420 without that fancy gearbox, it is the six cylinder DC13. The reason I tell you that is because I've got three empty drums in the van in anticipation of servicing this, but I'll actually only need two because I think it's about 36 litres of engine oil to go or to take out and put in. So we should be good with oil capacity on the van. I carry two empties and I always carry two full engine oils, two full hydraulics and a drum of gear oil as well. So should be good with what I've got, but it's coming out a treat anyway. I'm keeping an eye on it. I don't want to overfill, make a mess. But what a day. We had a nice weekend weather-wise. End up getting a sunburn. There's a hedge that goes sort of two sides of my garden at home and I end up cutting it. I hate cutting the hedge. It's about six foot wide and it's about eight or nine foot tall. And if you don't keep on top of it, it's to cut every fortnight I find. And it's like over that fortnight, it'll grow about oh, four or five inches if you have the right weather. And it doesn't have to take some cutting. So that was me for four hours yesterday in the sun. I've got sunburnt arms, the back of my neck sunburnt. I certainly prefer to be doing something like this anyway. <laughs> it is not fun. So you'll notice this engine oil filter housing's been a bit damp between the last service and now, so I've got a fresh O-ring, replace it. I'm sure I'll have done it last time, but sometimes you get good ones and bad ones, don't you? Just like everything else. Uh, yeah, I'll change this o-ring and put it all back together i have had it before where i replaced the o-ring and it's nipped itself and what a mess that makes when you start it up it does it makes a real mess so i've all filters changed fuel filters are done uh, engine oil filters done pilot filters done i'm just done with putting engine oil back in and uh yeah i'm just done with filling the engine oil back up and it's grand because while the engine oil's filling I'm on with greasing the drive shaft so set him off and uh, get the drive shafts done 
all the Milwaukee gear look this is like ser shovel service essentials Milwaukee transfer pump and a grease gun oh that sounds like it's finished pumping my first drum of oil I'll go and get that just get these last two grease points under here the uh, grease sniffles are pointing in a sensible direction for a change but oh, I've crawled under here looks like uh oh diff seal leak great oh we'll conquer that one day no doubt although i think these lot have just done a diff seal on another 420 the dinosaur shovel they call it so they might be keen to do this one as well <laughs> we'll see right that is us done for another 500 hours I it's a shame about that diff seal because i uh the last time that was serviced it'll have had axle oils changed so and if i leave it for another thousand hours for when the axle oils will need changed again it'll have probably progressed to the point where there's no axle oil left in there to change and uh it'll be the middle of winter and it'll be a proper miserable job proper miserable job um so yeah i'll have a word with my pal up the road in fact i might go up to hq tomorrow um and continue on with that 140 um if you remember i said a couple of couple of times in the last few videos there's a machine that's going to be like super modified um i'm gonna go and get a start on that tomorrow i think uh so yeah i'll probably borrow the special tool for taking the nut off and <laughs> I might need to borrow another special tool to come and give us a hand to do it. <laughs> see if they've got anybody available. We'll see. Right, it is half past three. Perfect. So I'll jingle on up the road. I'll have to empty out my um, waste oil drum and waste oil filters as well because that's full again. God, it's hot in here. Right, I'll see you back up at Carlisle. Right, we're just back at Carlisle. I've emptied my filter drum, got rid of my waste oils. I've just realised that's empty. So it's a good job I put. Well, I only put an extra 20 litre drum on the van thinking that that was a, 30, a DC 13 with 46 litres because that would have been knackered. I would have only had 40 litres. I would have had to have found six litres from somewhere. So that was kind of lucky. Won't have to make that mistake again. I'll stock that back up now. Everything else. Aye. Gear oil. Need some of that too. Right. Better stock up. Have a quick nosy over everything else. I've got a filter missing there, but Stars took that off us for a customer. I think that's everything. For the time being right i'll pack up and uh yeah it's the end of the video isn't it because it's a monday so tomorrow i'll head up to hq do some hydraulics on a 140 um and then hopefully the phone stays quiet i get a good day up there and see what the rest of the week brings like i say lots of services on the horizon to get done so that's all we've got on then that'll be grand won't it thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.